Arwood Damon is a highly decorated journalist for CNN and has been in the midst of the fighting, putting her life at risk, but unwilling to succumb to the inevitability of the damage being done to the children of war, both physically and psychologically. This was Yusuf, one of those consequences of war. We reported his story. The outpouring of support came from across the globe, and Yusuf and his family ended up in Los Angeles. This is Arwa Damon, a woman who refused to accept the inevitable. By the time he came to our office along with his father, his face had hardened into these scars uh, of, of tissue that just weren't moving, and he could barely feed himself one grain of rice at a time. For the past dozen years in Iraq and six years in Syria, the one constant for children has been the pain and suffering of war. Since 2014, the other constant has been the hope that if they can get to Arwa and her team at Inara, they have a chance at life. Arwa founded Inara because of her experience with Yusuf, and thanks to her intervention, dozens of children like him coming out of Syria and Iraq with catastrophic war wounds have been rehabilitated and given a chance at life. For Arwa, the path is clear. Either the children will remain victims or they become whole. Either they grow up with anger or they grow up with hope. Either they end up as forgotten collateral damage or they become testaments to the loving care of a world they never knew existed.